From time to time, WWE delivers a match or a segment that is so loathed by the fan base that fans decide to legitimately leave the arena. Instances of this is rare as after all, fans have spent a considerable amount of money to attend a WWE show and they want to get their money's worth. Sometimes fans like to protest what they are seeing with their feet and whenever fans walk out of a WWE show, it's always major news as it's a clear sign that whatever WWE are presenting simply isn't working. Join us now as WrestleMania looks at 8 times fans walked out of a WWE match or segment. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Also check out our new channel, WrestleMania Shorts. Number 8. Ryback vs Kane Whenever WWE visit the UK, the UK fanbase expects a special show. The UK fans are amongst the most passionate and loyal fan bases in the world and for the longest time the UK fans were treated as afterthoughts by WWE. A pay-per-view taking place in the UK seemed like an impossibility and fans had to settle for Raw and Smackdown tapings which whilst exciting were always problematic as they were prone to edit the fan noise in the arena. When WWE taped SmackDown in Liverpool, England in November of 2014, the main event of the show saw Ryback take on Kane. Fans were furious that this was the legitimate main event of the show so they naturally began to leave early. This was barely passable as a live event main event and there was evidence that WWE didn't care what was presented on SmackDown at the time. Thankfully, a decade later from this total dud of a matchup, they tried to treat their UK fans considerably better as UK-based pay-per-views are the norm with events such as Clash at the Castle and Money in the Bank 2023 all receiving critical acclaim from fans. Number 7. Sheamus Confronts Roman Reigns The WWE product in late 2015 wasn't in a good place. Attendance was on the way down and WWE fans were outright rejecting plans to make Roman Reigns the face of the company. On the road to the TLC pay-per-view in the aforementioned year, they would have a segment main event raw between the then WWE Champion Sheamus and Roman Reigns. Due to fans having zero interest in seeing this confrontation, there were a number of reports that fans began to leave early. This segment itself wasn't awful, but the problem was that Reigns was at his very worst. Reigns as a generic babyface wasn't working and WWE's stubbornness in modifying Reigns' character was alienating a considerable portion of the dedicated fanbase. Number 6. Ronda Rousey vs Shayna Baszler The 2023 SummerSlam card was stacked with top matches such as Roman Reigns vs Jey Uso and Brock Lesnar vs Cody Rhodes. Unfortunately, one match on the card completely killed the excitement of the crowd and this was the MMA rules match between Ronda Rousey and Shayna Baszler. The match was completely lifeless and you could literally hear a pin drop in the stadium. It was widely reported on social media that fans immediately got up and left for the concession stands when Rousey's music hit. This was a stark contrast to the fan interest in Rousey when she first arrived in WWE, but sadly her character was at a point of no return with fans as they had no desire to see her perform. Number 5. Bianca Belair vs Sasha Banks it came as a huge surprise in 2021 when it was reported that fans were leaving early during the main event of Night 1 of WrestleMania 37. The main event in question saw Bianca Belair challenge Sasha Banks for the SmackDown Women's title and the match received universal praise as it was a classic matchup that warranted the main event slot. Sadly, it was reported by Dave Meltzer in the Wrestling Observer Newsletter that a lot of fans left prior to the match, stating, Several noted that a lot of people left on Night 1 prior to the Banks vs Belair main event. I wasn't there and reports varied, but reports as the match started indicated that the number was high and it was very visible right on camera in the early part of the match. This came as a huge shocker, but it could have been due to the travel arrangements of fans in attendance. This event took place during the COVID-19 era, so it was possible that fans wanted to avoid the mass rush of people exiting the stadium. Another possible theory is that fans were disconnected with the match due to the build. The build for the match was notoriously terrible and WWE did a poor job in telling a compelling storyline heading into the WrestleMania encounter. Number 4. Alexa's Playground with Charlotte Flair The reaction to Alexa Bliss's supernatural character was a mixed bag. Some fans thought it was refreshing while some believed that WWE were trying to transfer Bray Wyatt's immense popularity onto Alexa Bliss. During an infamous promo exchange between Bliss and Charlotte Flair on Raw in 2021, it was reported by Dave Meltzer that up to 1,500 fans walked out of the arena. The segment received poor reviews so it would make sense for some fans to leave, but that number of fans leaving seemed far too drastic. 
The news of Meltzer's claims quickly spread around the internet, and this actually led to Bliss reporting to Meltzer on Twitter by stating, Sorry Meltzer, or whatever, you can't get cloud off our segment. Move on. Hashtag stop lying, hashtag literally didn't happen, and hashtag you're embarrassing yourself. Number 3. Roman Reigns vs Randy Orton and Seth Rollins The build to WrestleMania 31 didn't exactly light the world on fire. Even though the pay-per-view itself was incredible, the build just lacked effort and it was evident that WWE were just trying to go through the motions. Traditionally, during WrestleMania season, tickets for Raw and SmackDown are hot commodities, yet in 2015, fans were less than enthusiastic about attending shows. This was made clear during the Roman Reigns vs Randy Orton and Seth Rollins match on Raw, as it was reported that fans began to leave during the match. The poor build to WrestleMania 31 combined with fans having enough of Reigns' stagnant character had reached its absolute boiling point, and even with it being WrestleMania season, fans had simply seen enough. Number 2 John Cena vs The Rock Part 2 When WWE announced Cena vs Rock 2 for WrestleMania 29, the WWE audience had a ton of questions. They had just marketed their initial encounter as a one in a lifetime matchup, but now WWE were running the match back for a cheap buy rate. There was a sense of disappointment with the match announcement, and the desire to see the match again was very slim. This disappointment was highlighted in the poor WrestleMania 29 buy rate, as well as reports that fans began to leave the show early during the match. The match itself was insanely dull, as a WrestleMania 28 encounter had a spark to it, but this match was just a carbon copy of their prior match, and the fans were pretty much silent for the majority of the action. There was also a strong push from fans to see CM Punk inserted into the main event of WrestleMania 29, but instead, they had placed Punk in a match with The Undertaker. The match between Punk and the Deadman was so well received that fans after the show had suggested that they had put the wrong match on last. And number 1. Roman Reigns vs Samoa Joe at coming out of the 2018 Backlash pay-per-view, all everyone could talk about is how hundreds of fans left during the main event. The main event of the show saw Roman Reigns take on Samoa Joe and whilst the match was somewhat of a dream match, there was nothing at stake so the match just felt completely pointless. Additionally, fans were unbelievably bored of Reigns and they wanted nothing to do with him, especially in the main event slot of a pay-per-view event. The match was a total bore as the two were evidently distracted by the fan response as the fans that were left would heckle the two with chants of CM Punk, beat the traffic and even this is boring. WWE executive Rodog would reflect on the crowd response to the match on his podcast and he had some rather interesting comments to make. Look, truth be told, it bothered me. I don't know if it bothers Vince personally, I can't imagine from a businessman's point of view, which is how I try to look at it, but my personal feelings get in the way all the time. But like it's the first thing I said was you paid your money, like you paid that. You can do and John Cena used to say that the best you paid your money, you can do anything. You want to go when you come here, I mean within reason, you can leave, you can chant this thing, you can chant that thing, you can do whatever you want or turn your back, but we got your money and that's what we were shooting for. It was reported at the time that this was the eye-opener that McMahon needed and from this point onwards he was going to realise that his current presentation of Reigns just wasn't working. Unfortunately, nothing changed for the next few years as WWE and McMahon specifically continued to present Reigns in the manner they saw fit. But there you have it folks, 8 times fans legitimately walked out of WWE matches and segments. Be sure to leave your comments down below and I'll see you next time with some more wrestling content.